No! I will not wake up! But, uh, hey, audience! Welcome back to some more Sly Cooper and Thievus Raccoonus. So, yeah, as I expected, they actually did teleport me, uh, well, actually spawn me here. But, uh, we already heard this from the last episode, so we're not even going to worry about whatever Miss Ruby has to say. So, instead, let's see, Grave Undertaking, Piranha Lake, and the Lair of the Beast. If you notice, Piranha Lake does not have a vault, which means this is one of those special levels. I'm a I actually kind of want to go there, but I don't remember which one is which. I believe over there, that one's for uh, the beast. So that might be the one. It's either that or somewhere. But enough daily dallying, cause we gotta actually start and do our missions. So, okay, yeah, this one's the lair of the beast. Yeah. What's with this industrial strike voodoo gate? Miss Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. Oh. Alright, so. What I think I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to do um, two missions and I'll go back to the thing and quickly get the one clue bottle that I miss. But, uh, yeah, to get over this gate and handle the slowdown, you just gotta climb up here. Unfortunately, no blueprints for this area. And also, you wanna jump off, cause there's a bunch of clue balls over here. Alright. I climb up here too, cause there is a clue bottle right over here. Now, um, even though you do slide on these things, you can actually repeatedly uh, just jump back. Whoa, didn't want to do that, but uh, just showcasing. Whoa, what the heck? That that's not supposed to happen. That's um. Well, normally you're able to do this, but apparently this what am I Man, this is something that you just cannot get from uh, a regular PS2. Well then that was weird. But you know, thankfully because of that uh water survivability thing, you know, we don't have to worry about drowning. Uh oh, it's doing that weird thing again. Wow, I can basically bypass all of this? Wow. Oh, wait, I can't bypass that. Um, oh my goodness. Ah! Uh, what is going on? Can I just. Um. Heck? Well, as long as I can progress through. Alright, now. On these things, you do want to watch out for some spiders. Yep, spiders over here. Except, oh come on, that's a jerk move. The spider can hit me, but I, but I can't hit it. Come on now. Oh come on. Well, at least I don't have to take any uh, water damage, so that's fine. Man, what would I do without that water survivability thing? Although, I wonder why it's doing this. It might be because I actually jumped back. I mean, you can do that, you know. I do that, like, a lot of times, you know, just going back to the thing. But I'm just going to assume it's because I did that when the game can't recognize it. At least on the emulator, so. Well, no, actually it does recognize it. It just doesn't place me uh, at the correct spot. Actually, crap, I should be looking for blue balls. Oh yes, there is something under here. Um, this is so weird. Oh my goodness, this is so weird. What was I just holding on to that thing? 
Oh, man, all I really want to know is, am I missing any clue bottles? And I can't look at it over here. This is so weird! At least this one's normal. Thank goodness. Alright, get you out of here, Mr. Giant Mosquito thing. No! Hold on. Jeez, that's not uh, morbid at all, you know? Um, actually, not a good time for me to check if there is any clue bars I'm missing. And you might have noticed that the key is right there. And the vault is right there as well. Um, well. Alright. So it doesn't seem like I'm missing any clue bars. Okay, so let's just continue forward. Seems to be uh, normal now, so. Thank goodness for that! Alright, lucky charm! I will gladly welcome that. Nope! No cheap hits for you! Nope, not even gonna mess with you, spider. But I will mess with you guys, because you're in my way. Come on! I couldn't even hit you! Come on! Come on! I dare you. That's what happens. You die. You die. All of you! I don't like spiders and mosquitoes anyway. Actually, wait. Okay, now it's just a reeds moving. Ooh, I will definitely want that. Alright, 11 more to go. 11 more. Come on. Oh, get away from me. Nice. However, I... Oh, sweet, I can actually jump. I think most times I did not actually know that, so I just kind of jumped down and just climbed my way back up, so... That's awesome. No, 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 no. I want that. Alright, yeah, see this right here? You're gonna wanna run. You wanna continue moving and don't stop. Oh crap, clue bottle! Clue bottle! I will risk my life for clues. Don't come out, don't get. Don't get close. Forget that. No, 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 no. Just go over here. Yes, shortcut. Don't waste your time going through that entire- Aw, oh, dang it. Don't waste your time going around that thing, unless you're pretty far ahead, because I've noticed that most times I've been there, I got it way too close to that snake monster. I will say, at least for a six-year-old, this might be kind of like, uh, scary, you know? I mean, they make it out to be like, oh my goodness, there's something huge under there, and it's just, it's just a giant snake. Now, unless you're, like, terribly afraid of snakes, you know, then it's like, that's something else, but... I mean, not really that scary, not that terrifying. But I still love it. It's so great. I mean, look at that. Just a giant, big beast. Just a monster slowly coming after you, eating all this wood and like vines and stuff. Fortunately, it doesn't bother us at all once we uh, come over here. So now, we don't want to destroy that key. Nope. We want to open this clue bottle. I mean, this wall. Meanwhile, I'm going to check how long I've been recording. So, oh my goodness, about 10 minutes? Holy crap. Personal demons. 444? Four, four. Now, interesting bit of trivia here. Um, 4 is actually considered unlucky in um, at least Chinese and Japanese languages. No, actually, I'm pretty sure in a lot of Asian languages. Because 4 sounds very, very close to the word death. Oh, yeah! It should give you a nice tingling sensation. Well, I don't know about that. 
But um, yeah. And in fact, it's so lucky. Some places don't even have like a fourth floor, like uh, on elevators and stuff. You know, there'll be a bun for one, two, three. They'll skip four and they'll just go straight to five. So it's like you know, three fours and uh, personal demons and stuff like that. You know, and this whole horror motif. This it just fits, you know. And I'm pretty sure they intentionally did that. I mean, you just. There's no way something like that is just a coincidence. Although it could be, but I mean, for the most part, it probably uh was intended. Actually, no. You know, let's go over here. All right, this guy right here. This boss is fucking fool. But yeah, our role now has an electrical thing, which I will welcome. So now we have a mini game, Piranha Lake. Why? The only way to open up that voodoo gate is by lighting all 25 tiki torches with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower, and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit. Why two minutes? I have no idea. How can I seriously get oil from these piranhas? I have no idea. But whatever, it's fun. Let's light out some torches. Come over here. <laughs> Alright, I believe they are. No, okay, no, they're not. Maybe! Okay, no. I was thinking, like, maybe they're long enough for you to hit uh, two at once, but apparently not. No, 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 come over here! Piranhas! <laughs> eh, actually, in the meantime, I should also light these things up. Yes! Now that is a lot of piranhas! Aw, oh, dang. Come on, come over here. Come over here, you piranha. Now I believe there's a second one too, so... I don't know if this time carries over. Probably not, I mean, it's like... It shouldn't. It's gonna be kinda hard. Nice. Alright. Right us. Come over here! Let me harvest your oil. All I want is your oil. I don't care about your skin or blood. Just let me get the oil. That's on your skin. I mean scales. And possibly inside you. Okay, 35 seconds for five ball. Well, yeah, five. Uh come on, come on, come on. I can do this. I just need enough fish! I mean, piranhas. Well, yeah, they're fish, by means. Come on! One more! Oh, there's a lot. Oh, there is a lot. Let me get ya! Let me get ya! Yeah, okay, now we're good. So I just gotta find them and light them up. Two more! Where are the other two? Oh, okay, right here. No! Oh, thank goodness. Is that seriously all? I could have sworn there was a second one. Eh, I'm fine with that. Get our key. All right, now let's go back to this place over here. If I can go down, there we go. All right. Where's the one clue bottle that I miss? Get out of here. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, I had a feeling it was this one. Cause I just remember, like, there might be something behind this tiki thing. When I actually just, when I started the level, and I was like, wait. Oh my goodness, it really was right there. Man! Can you believe it? There was one on top of the tiki, I got that! Cause you know, that was obvious. Apparently, I didn't get the freaking one behind it. So ashamed. Just get out of my way. 
I don't care about you guys. All I want is a freaking vault. That's it. Wish I could just skip all the way over there. Actually... Dang! Could have, like, speedrun this thing or something. Alright, let's go the wrong- let's, let's go the long way then. Let's go the wrong way, I was about to say. Alright. Actually, I want- I want to see something. This thing does hurt, so I mean, it's... Dang! Okay, so, no, it would only do that to normal enemies, I guess. Which sucks. I was hoping to electrify that thing. I mean, don't you ever want to, like, just beat an enemy by rolling into them? I was kind of close, actually. Well, got myself a lucky charm, so... I'm alright. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. Now just get out of my way. Don't even care about you guys. All I want is a vault. Press the circle to enter the vault code. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right. Can you help me with my calculus the homework then? Has got to be five eight eight. All right. Five eight eight. Well, wait, not five eight seven. <laughs> You know, I don't know if this happened. I'm pretty sure this happens to a lot of us schools, but doesn't that remind you of like whenever you open a locker, you can be like one or two digits away from the number that you're supposed to be on, and you can still open something? Like, you know, you still gotta put in the combination, like mostly, right? But it's pretty funny. Really? Oh man! All right, Mojo Dupree. Uh huh. Enjoy skull. Enjoy skull. Is that really all? Huh. Guess it's not that specific then. I mean, specific by enemy sides, but not individual enemies, nonetheless. I mean, like, how awesome would it be if you had, like, individual bios for each one of these, you know? Actually, on second thought, that would probably make it worse, because now it's like, these guys have lives! And you're knocking them out! This guy, he could probably have a family. You know, he could probably have a wife and two kids. But that guy on the other hand, he's probably single. You know, you don't know. Well, this guy, he doesn't have any uh, girlfriends, you know. But you can bet he is a partier. Eh, let's get out of here. Alright, actually, well, apparently we're gonna see this again, even though we saw this in the last episode. Not Ms. Ruby herself. Which involves getting keys. All the keys. Why not just have Sora come in and be like, Hey, can you open this for me? Thanks. Alright. We got two keys in this episode. And two vaults. So, I think that's enough for this episode. In the next episode, we shall get this one and then open up a new area where we can play, I mean, do more missions. And then, possibly after that, we shall fight Ms. Ruby. And honestly, I love the fight against Ms. Ruby. And you'll see why when we actually do fight against her. But uh, if you... Nah, I'm not gonna say I'll, I'll just say it when uh, we actually get there. But, um... Yeah, it just combines two of my uh, favorite things. So... Get ready for that! I'll see you guys in the next episode!